I'm Bill Wong with Electronic Design, and I'm speaking today with Brian Hediati of Maxim. And we're going to find out about their new energy harvesting hardware. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, the technology you're using here? Well, thank you for the time. Yes, uh, we are uh, demonstrating our latest product for energy harvesting. Uh, this is uh, a PMIC that enables uh, this uh, kind of uh, applications. Well, excellent. I see we have a board here. Could we take a look at it and see how it works? Sure. So here's a, a demonstration of a, a potential an application of something like a smart card, a powered smart card. So what we are demonstrating here is uh, a, a card that has a solar cell behind it to harvest uh, energy from light. And then that energy is uh, converted with RIC uh, to charge the battery that is behind the cart. This is the, the thin film um, infinite power solution battery. Uh, it's as thin as a paper. Uh, so this device stores the energy and then later on our IC, the power management IC, the MAX 17710, it will, which is in the back of the cart, it will create a, a regulated voltage uh, to power a, a microcontroller uh, and this microcontroller can do the processing using the power coming from the battery. And uh, we have an example where when you push this button, you see that the uh, LED lights uh, are being uh, driven by the microcontroller, emulating that is being pro processing some kind of a data in this case. So you can see the whole solution can be fit into a very thin form factor. And our IC can eliminate many components that they used to have to have to implement the power management for this application. Very impressive. Here is a MAX 17710 ev evaluation board. Uh, with our evaluation board, uh, we supply our IC. Uh, it comes with uh, three solar cells and also the uh, infinite power solution battery that is located in the back of the evaluation board. So with this, uh, all these components on this board, you're able to emulate a complete uh, system, wireless system, using the energy harvesting from the solar or any other sources that you would like to try, try by connecting to the input to their board. Here we show an example of a, a wireless sensor, a temperature sensor that can be plugged in uh, to our evaluation board. Uh, these devices are standard off the shelf that you can use to emulate a complete system uh, that is uh, independent of being connected to any kind of a power source and mainly getting powered from uh, uh, ambient energy. What MAX 17710 offers is the fact that it can run uh, and operate all the power management aspect uh, to, for the battery management and powering the, the sensor. Uh, and it can operate uh, sub uh, 500 nanoamps, uh, which is very impressive. Uh, it's an order of magnitude less than what you can find in the market now. And that is what is needed to uh, have a, a good power management IC for energy harvesting. This device can take uh, input source voltages as low as 0.8 volt to charge the battery and it can give you multiple uh, choices of regulated output to run your wireless sensors. Here's an example of Infinite Power Solutions uh, um, battery storage cell. These devices are as thin as paper, uh, flexible, and uh, the fact that uh, they can uh, ha store a lot of energy in such a small uh, battery cell is impressive. For instance, this particular one, this device is uh, Point, uh, point, one point milliamp hour device. It can supply over 30 milliamp uh, peak current. Uh, we work closely with Infinite Power Solutions to develop the power management IC to make sure to, to enable the whole energy harvesting solution for low power application from the range of 10 microwatts up to 100 milliwatts range. What are some of the applications that uh, this technology can be employed with? This is an uh, area we're expanding. We have uh, powered smart cards that uh, can use this energy harvesting uh, type of applications. We have uh, applications such as uh, wireless sensor networks for remote locations, uh, you know, irrigation uh, sensors for 
power management uh, for buildings and machineries. All of these require some kind of a sensor, and if you have uh, energy harvesting implemented, you don't have to bring power lines to them. Uh, so it really reduces the cost of ownership and makes it very reliable. Excellent.